Hello, this is Vulture Fire, and it's time for another Deep Dive episode. So this will be our fourth deck with uh, Rowden. We've already done a Burn Run, we've done a Frostbite Run, and we've done an Occult Ritual, uh, sort of very dirtily kind of run. So, next, thinking, we're going to do a run that um, might come as a bit of a shock. So, <laughs> sorry, I, I can't resist the bad puns. So I think that means we kind of want the heaviest damage stuff we can get. Because we want to consume our shock on the most valuable targets. And I think it's time to use meditate, finally. All right, so this is likely to be a slower run. We haven't used Frozen Hide yet, I think. We have not. So the question is, do I want to use Heavy Stand or do I want to use Frozen Hide? Did I already use, yes, I already used Mend. That was last time. So, this might be the heavy stand run. Let's see, on mana, I think we can one resolute focus. One gambler's focus. I don't think I want to resolute focus because I am trying to get up to these big numbers, which means I also don't want to like go in on focuses really. We may have to do two of those. We may go one mana shield and actually let's do one patient focus and one siphon card. That seems interesting. So then we need our survival to cards. I think that works. This should be interesting. Okay. So we've got a bunch of one ups because why would you run multiple copies of the same card? Let me make notes of those real quick. Uh, fortunately, I only have to note down the um, I don't have to note down everything in the card pool immediately because uh, there's no guarantee it will take everything in the card pool. I mean, there's in fact it's in fact impossible impossible that we will end up taking everything in the card pool. At least if we fill in enough uh, epic cards. Mm. I need to actually put the right number by these. This is our fourth run. Overcharge, Train Life, and then Sundering Blast. Alright, so, gonna run the usual mana cards. We'll run fi put Final Strike in there again. I think this may be a Blood Visions run. It's definitely... This is definitely the Singularity run. I don't think it's the Lingering Ritual run. I don't think Lingering Ritual will work here. I think we save Lingering Ritual for probably the Discard run. Can we afford to use Arcane Spellbomb here? 
Hmm. We already... No, we had Scramble in our pool. But I didn't make good use of it. We'll add Doom again. I think this... No, I don't think we want Cultivate yet. I'm adding co Ice Concentration just because it's three easy mana, even though we won't trip it. I think Hunt seems okay. I think Predator's Focus seems okay. I think Runic Focus seems okay. Both these are going to be a little harder to trip, but I think it's worth it. I think we run... Blazing Ritual. I think I'm okay with having one Arcane card. It's going to be Arcane Visions. I think there's a chance that we want more Meditates, so I'm going to add that. More Frozen Hide, just in case we end up needing them. Uh, I think we may also want more of our big damage spells. Let me grab those. Sundering Blast and Drain Life. More mana. I think we may take Smite. I like having access to it. We haven't used it yet. Uh, we are in a shock build, so I think we'll take Frost makes sense here. Reverberation makes some sense. Let's see. That makes sense. Let's do. Sh let's search for shocked. Um, we'll try siphon lightning. I'm not sold on it, but it's an interesting question. Uh, we'll take curse conjunction. Okay, and so then we need probably some more ways to apply shock. We'll try shocking blast. I'm not sold on the idea that it's actually good, but I want to try it. And then, we haven't used Elemental Conflux yet, have we? No. You also haven't used Power Surge. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I think Punch Routing will be the next run, maybe. Hmm. I don't think we want Lightning Field, because that burns all our shock. We might want Lightning Blade, because it does hit very hard. Sure. We probably want like one more defense card. We don't have any actual shield generation, I think. Right? Oh, emergency shielding works. Okay. So there we go. We actually have nine epics for once. We have um, more recoverable health. We've got the Phoenix Feather. We've got Evasion to start with, which is pretty nice. We've got Aetherflux Converse. We'll get a bunch of items. We'll see how this goes. Equip. Oh man, Aura of Protection to start with is amazing. Um, means we don't need any shield cards. Very happy with that. So, I think we go this way, because we can't take the, or why not taking the monster cards anyway. Uh-huh. Shock on you. Goodbye. And to actually trip patient focus. Turn one patient focus is fairly easy to trip. I should have done that first. My bad. Goodbye. 
not quite a kill, but got pretty dang close. So yeah, you can sort of see what, what this deck is trying to do here. Um, we're just trying to play a handful of cards that are going to hit very, very hard. Boop. I think we don't need that. So we can... I think we start working on killing... Not this one, because it's going to heal. That one. Oh, I thought it was going to heal. I wasn't thinking about the fact that we had some evasion. Should have gone after it after all, I guess. Okay. We're going to... I guess we're going to finishing that one off then. So getting a couple ways to do some small damage would be nice, because um, the downside to having just all big hits all the time is that it means... Uh, one, we sometimes get hands like this, which are just kind of awkward. See that just freezes? Nope, that will. Um, but we get um, we we if we don't one shot things, we end up in this position where um, we just have to spend multiple cards on something, which is just much worse. There was absolutely no reason we did. No, there was. It was that it let me get patient focus off. That's my excuse. Uh. Take this thing that was a bit suspect, but not a big deal. I think Full Take Frost seems good. I think starting tough seems pretty good too. Well, we don't have much in the way of ways to draw extra cards, but Overflowing Bracers, we have other ways to get tough, and Overflowing Bracers is um, kind of a roundabout way of handling our um, whatever issue. Look at all this extra mana we can't use. All right, so we're gonna meditate. Punk, and we can freeze. I should have frozen first for a couple reasons. I was thinking that I wanted the vulnerable, but um, So we do get to evade this hit, so we just need to draw our damage again. Yeah, we can just plan to play that and get the health. There was no point in. I was thinking about lining up Voltaic Frost, but didn't need to. Um, Voltaic Frost is silver. Let me make a note. What other cards have we taken? Just the Voltaic Frost? Just the Voltaic Frost so far. Because we took uh, Right Focus after the first one. I think I like setting up Smite. I don't think I have any cuts yet. probably need a little bit more in the way of a place to apply shock at this point. Can we freeze? Yes. Do we freeze? Yeah, I think it's worth freezing. Because this just means that we don't have to deal with uh, doom. meditating. I don't think we want to play that. I think we're okay burning a um, whatever there. Right. So 
shocking ourselves or arcane ourselves those little unfortunate, but we can't get a shock off. So I think we pitch. I think I want to play that if it's get, not getting us a shock. I think it is worth playing that even if it doesn't do anything. Because the reason not to play the other one is we don't want to fill our deck with exhaustions for no gain. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's typical. Uh, that freezes us, so we do not want to do that. At least we don't want to do it yet. We want to do it last. But so far, uh, this is... Especially because we aren't on the uh, the ticking timer that we would be on. If we hadn't... Do that. So play that. Yeah. This is going pretty well, I would say. And there's no point in waiting to heal because we'll get to heal off the forge. Okay. Um, this is a mana card. <laughs> um, that means I can take it. Safely. Ooh. Um, I like a vague chance. I think our upgrade... Uh, Probably one of our damaging cards. So, this upgrade also makes sense to me, I think. This one also makes sense. Oh, that gives us purity too, and it, yeah, I think that's our upgrade. I think we don't need the crumbling defenses because we have the um, aura of protection. And I didn't think about that last time when we got our removal. Uh, this bug is going to be fixed in the next version where we'll automatically fan them out, but not fixed yet. But am I taking any of these cards ever? Tell you what, I'm going to just show you if, if I do this, it's going to fix this bug. Um, yeah, so now I can see all these cards. I can click on them to see all of it. Uh, zap I might take. And this one, still six cards. Don't think there's any chance to take those two. I think Zap is the only one here that I might take. Uh, we'll we'll just go here. I need to focus that one down, but that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and then we can just go bonk, which will start us. Oh, this one's gonna set up Taunt, which is annoying. Oh no, it doesn't. I think it used to. Maybe I'm just crazy. Evade is actually uh, coming back to bite us a little bit. Okay, yeah, we can do this. Which will then turn this on. And then we can... I think... So we could do this. Or... Or... We just do that. Hmm. Let's go that. Sundering Blast, you out of existence. And then just... Yeah, we'll figure this out, why not? There we go. Uh, that's not Jolt. Do we want another Sundering Blast? At this point, I think we take the, ma the Blazing Ritual, because we have the Smite Plus at this point. I think I'm fine with that. Um, meditate. I think we're going to shock you, and then do this. And I kind of want this Purity here, because um, in the event that we don't kill this next turn, I don't want to deal with the Bleed that it can set up. That also just helps with that, I guess. Um, absolutely killing that. This would freeze that. 
Do I care? I think I'd rather just have a bunch of mana for next turn. Because I can block all of that with the aura of protection. And now I may as well freeze. Plenty of mana for next turn. The evades are a bit annoying. That's the reason to get arcane up. Um, but I think we may have blocked. I wasn't paying enough attention. Okay. So we did get block damage here. We can use this. That does a lot of frost. There we go. So we don't need the emergency shield. I think we try shocking blast. We may as well. This is probably not awful. This doesn't trip shock, which is good though. It's just a little uh, an easy finish off mechanic. That upgrade's pretty good. Makes this immediately better. Um. I mana font plus is pretty good. That's probably what we take. Um. Just a little bit of extra card draw. Yep. Make a note that we took Shocking Blast. And we'll just go to the event. Uh, yellow Lore Blossom, safe path indicated with flags. Do we detour to the caravan? Uh, we don't need the item, I think. Well. Hmm. I think it costs us only like... No, it costs us like 5% of it, or 7% of 8 chance. And the strike damage is useless to us. But it would get us the item energy. Sure. I'm not too scared of this fight, so. Delicious. Yeah, shock is pretty powerful. Um, and yeah, so that, that was where about doing the thing that I picked it up for, which is just doing that last little bit of finish off damage. And then we just need to find yeah, that honk. And yeah, I don't think we want this. I don't think we want that. I think that we're fine discarding it. Um, so we're going to pitch that. We're going to just do some shocking. And we're going to get some mana for the next time. Going to evade both these hits. Starfish drawing couple cards. Meditate. We can freeze that one if we want to. I think we want to focus here. I think that makes sense. Because I think uh, just getting this this kill is more important. And I deliberately didn't set up Smite before I played the Ritual because I wanted, um, I, I knew we could just eat the damage. I didn't want to burn whatever on it. Get my Shock out. Even more Shock out. Frost. And another Shock. I think it'll probably take us that last other extra hit to get this kill. I think that blocked a summoning. So I think this kills, it actually kills both of them, which is convenient. And then we'll heal back to Yeah, this, this, this run is going very well. Um, do I want Lightning Blade? 
It does a lot of damage. It does play shock to us, which is a bit risky because we are on the gambler's focus, which I didn't think about. I think we just take the mana eruption. I think we take the imbued rope. The evade chance is nice, but the imbued rope does a lot for us. And then the question becomes, what do we upgrade? I think the answer is probably the Sundering Blast for the extra damage. Because it's one of our main damage sources. And then... We may cut a Gambler's Focus eventually, but I, I don't want to replace it yet. I don't have enough mana. Shocking Blast is now better with the uh, Imbued Robe. Yeah, we'll go through here. I'd probably take a Lightning Breath if it was offered. This fight's a little scary, but I don't think it's too bad. Let's see. Start by drawing some cards. Set up that. We don't have access to meditate this turn. We are absolutely freezing that one. I mean, we, we didn't have a choice, but... Um, we would have a choice on which one to freeze, rather, because of the taunt. But I didn't want it to set up a bunch of plated. Although, of all of the decks, this one is pretty well positioned to handle uh, plated. It has a chance of backfiring. Okay, it didn't. Alright, so we are going to get our can proc here, but it's just going to hit our shield. And now we just need to find, yep, that is a damage source. Not going to need that, because we are going to win. Uh, we'll just take Predator's Focus, sure. Uh, we aren't doing Arcane Detonations, starting Adept is nice. Yeah, I think we just take that. Bonk, bonk. Okay, so that does give us access to a um, a skill for Resolute Focus. I think we went to Blazing Ritual. Um, we are going to play that. So by freezing this, it won't set up uh, Frostburn, which is nice for us. We get all this mana from uh, Patient Focus that we can't use. Just immediately goes down the toilet. But, we delete you, and we deleted that one because it was the one that was the bigger threat because it had the uh, frost rune. Now that matters a ton. Alright, then we get another shock from our uh, Tesla coil. Honk. Blank shock. Not because it matters, but because it makes me laugh. Okay, so we just need mana, and then we can run our boss. I should have grabbed, like, Potent Augury for this. Not that it super matters. I will take another smite. Blazing Ritual. I probably didn't need to play Blazing Ritual, but I did. I think I, I like not getting shocked here. And then just tag that one, because it's the one that was being mean. Yeah, I think we focused down the, the back one. Meditate for more Adept. That was turned on by the drawing extra cards thing. Oh, well, in that case... So now we do have some purity, which is nice. The healing is just very impolite. It really harshes my vibe. The extra healing is nice. Um. Okay. 
we're going to try and kill the back one. Which is not going to be easy, but I'm willing to put in the effort. And there we go. So now we take a bunch of damage. But we have drain life, so we can heal it back eventually. This is actually, it's actually safe to play this because uh, we have purity. So, Rowden's special ability doesn't trip overflowing bracers. Because uh, he, he draws an additional card at the start of each turn. I don't know if that's a bug or not. So, we will have Adept pretty consistently, but we won't have the others. I think this is pretty good for us. And then, just take that. Let me make a note that we took Blood Visions. It's going to be tricky for us to actually play this a bunch, but... Or to play this and then follow it up with a bunch of spells, but the Mighty is kind of the important thing. I think we upgrade our other Smite. And then I think we cut... I think Shocking Blast is kind of our worst Shock card, and I don't know that we need it when we have... Well, I suppose we only have three Shock cards. I think Siphon card is our worst Mana card, though. I think we can afford to cut it and expect to just find other mana cards later. Like Shocking Focus, which is very good for us. We, we love that for us. Okay, so... I think we start with that. Pop. And then we decide whether we want to do this or this. I think I really like just doing that and just chunking. Because uh, we're not having any debuff set up on us this turn. And this plate, it just does not matter against what we're doing. I mean, I didn't even think about the fact that Smite handles, um, handles the bleed. So I think we do that first. We're fine with that damage. And then we... The question is, do we want to Blood Visions or do we want to get Purity first? I think we just do that. And then we Blood Visions. And then we need to play that first. Smite is going to finish off those two. <laughs> and then, yeah. It turns out the answer to the question, what happens if you just put all the really expensive spells in a deck and that deck is Rowden, so you have mana, is you win. Uh, the, evade, the evade is a bit of a problem, though. I, I can admit that. Not, not an insurmountable problem, but, you know, it's annoying. There's the evade gone, so next turn we'll be able to get a hit in. <laughs> Frost Barrier doing work. Okay, we can... Oh. It's kind of where we were going to explode there. Boop. Freeze wears off. Oh, let's get our mighty back. Yeah, that seems like a, an okay amount of damage. Who needs Singularity? 
Um, that's tempting. I think we kind of want the arcane to deal with. Um, to give us a little more card draw and it lets us deal with uh, evade, which is nice. So that is. I don't think we have any cuts. I think we get that off just because it ups our maximum mana. I should have done this first. No, because I want to do that. I'm just going to deal with the fact that um, we're going to take a little bit of damage for that, but we get to evade the first couple hits. We're only taking three. And then we nearly killed both of them, and we have a bunch of. Um, We have a bunch of uh, purity, which is very nice. I still have a bunch of adept. Let's see. This definitely kills. Okay, so if I do that first, now this is lethal. Uh, we do not have a spell to go with that, unfortunately. So, Warbot didn't quite get the kill there. But Warbot will get this kill at the end of our turn, so we don't have to, to use any resources on that. I suppose now I could afford to take Lightning Blade, but I don't know that I need to use it here. More shocked up. Here. Getting a pretty good amount of mana. Absolutely, we'll do that. Start there. Um, I think we just want to do this. Even though we could have set up a shock, I would rather, uh, while we had the mighty and we had all the spells in our hand, I'd rather just get damage out. stacks. The other evade stack we will have to... Okay, so that freezes. There's a slight bonus. Uh, that gets evaded and then hit for a bunch of damage. Alright, we get another shock up. And bonk. Okay. I would love to get the other thing that drops here. Nope, no shocking focus. Do we take the Siphon Lightning? I think we try Siphon Lightning. Uh, our King Cloak is probably better than this, the Cloak of Vitality, and I think we like the other stuff we have. That just makes our Arcane Visions a little bit more reliable. don't think we want to use this. Oh, it actually froze us anyway. I not have attention. Rude. So. Smite does give us access to purity, but purity we just are going to burn through really quickly in this particular uh, fight because... Uh, every time we deal damage to these jerks. So like whenever we draw cards, whenever, um, yeah. This should kill the front one, yeah. 
Yeah, we take a bunch of damage to poison. But just finishing this fight quickly is the goal. Because that's the only way that we can possibly hope to um, avoid taking too much damage here. Yeah, and this is kind of what I figured the problem was going to be with um, the the shocking focus, whatever it's called, uh, the shocking the um, siphon lightning, which is that I often just do not want to spend um, I don't want to spend my limited um, shocked on that. Yeah, we took some damage there. Not a whole ton to do to avoid that. I think we take... It's hard to say between like another mana card and another very expensive spell. I think we take the Runic Focus. Because um, I want to get... Ideally, we pick up... So Lightning Communion would actually be great. Um, I'm also okay with Burning Dragon Form on this one. Because this will be the best Dragon Form run possible. I think. Well, I say that. Like... Dragon Form is kind of has a, a cup. The, the slight downside of Dragon Form in this run is that if we are already um, sorry, my brain is as usual just decided to go on an adventure without me. If we are already um, doing high damage spells, like a little bit of powerful doesn't do as much. But okay, the purity is actually going to help us here, though. Although we aren't going to be drawing any spells for the next couple turns, we just drew all of our spells. Which is a little unfortunate. But... Uh, you are not shocked. I didn't have to freeze there, but like, we're only going to get so many chances to freeze, so I may as well use it. I don't think I want to play the Blazing Ritual. Uh, what did I just play? Oh, I played the Shock Spasm. Okay, yeah. I was thinking like I didn't want to burn too much, uh, too many resources on, too much purity on that when I want to use the purity on the Shock, but. Absolutely gonna set up tough. Absolutely gonna set up more Shock. Not gonna play the Blazing Ritual. I don't think we need to. And yeah, now we shuffle and now we can actually draw spells again. Okay, so that actually burned up our purity, which is a little bit unfortunate. But fortunately, there's our purity back. And we get to just avoid getting shocked. more of that. Yeah, take more mighty. That will get us an explosion. I should have done that a little sooner, I wasn't thinking. Now we get that, and then this gets us our tough back, which is going to be valuable enough. Um, take a bunch of damage, but it's fine. Oh no, because nice, our frost barrier got us there. That's actually very, very helpful. Uh, that's not going to get us a shock. And I don't want to burn this on getting just some mana. Alright, yeah, now 
Our flame blade is useful. Okay, yeah, that's not going to get us. I guess we'll fly it though, because we're going to have plenty of mana at the end of turn. So yeah, basically just, yeah, we need to loop around to this Blood Visions again, and I think that should get us what we need. Because that lets us set up a vulnerable, and then kill. Okay. Lightning Communion seems pretty great. We're absolutely going to upgrade that. Uh, Frost Applied by Spells is pretty nice. Give us a chance of freezing at least. And yeah, this is absolutely one we're taking. And then we cut something, probably. It might be the Blazing Ritual. No, maybe a Gambler's Focus or a Patient Focus. The patient Focus is, has been fine, I guess. I think we've got a Gambler's Focus. Yeah. Yeah, I think with the Lightning Community, we can afford to cut a Gambler's Focus. I think we... We go through here. Um, I think we just take events as much as possible. I should have checked. Uh, I, I wasn't lo looking closely what our uh, boss is. Just do that real quick. Let's just start dunking on you, I guess. Because I don't really want to. Um, I think we could probably freeze you though. I don't think we want to get cursed. And then we're actually not going to take any damage here because two of it we evade and then two of it we block. Or two of the hits we block. I don't think we burn on. Tr well. I, th I think it is actually worth it. Yeah, because that lets us get that set up, which is nice. So then we take... I was thinking that was going to let us block. I wasn't think paying attention. I was thinking we were going to get to block those. I guess we're definitely playing that. You're definitely playing that. Kills both of them. Kind of want to get the seal, but we are. Yeah, let's do that. I wouldn't mind another drain life at this point. I think we take the icy concentration. Okay, so we start by playing frozen hide so we can do that. Shock you. And then of the two, I think the purity is probably more important, although the healing is also pretty nice. But I'm going to burn up a shock and make the most value out of it. Vindictive R would be pretty neat. We don't need it, but it would be pretty neat. We don't have any shock out, unfortunately. And I don't think any of our, none of our spells actually apply shock. So, I think it makes sense to play that and then get our mighty up. Set up vulnerable on you. And we're gonna get to play two more spells. Which? Hmm. The question is, do we go for this kill or do we just get the life steal? That doesn't kill. I think that decides it. Um. And then I 
I kind of like having those arcane visions. I've already taken it, so... That doesn't seem very useful. This doesn't seem very useful. I'll spend one reroll here. Um, none of that seems very useful. Um, Shocking Blast is just kind of underwhelming. We can go. Even though, like, I do want more shock cards, that's just kind of the worst one. And this was a very, very bad opening hand, unfortunately. So we are going to take some damage. Not a ton, but some. This is the danger to going so high, high on mana, is that we don't have a ton of card draw, so... We do have a tendency to just end up with, uh, yeah. So we're going to shock you... Or freeze you, which is going to let us get more mana. I'm going to blow you up. I'm going to get five shield here. But... Alright. Actually getting value from that. That's lethal. That's annoying. Um, I think we do that into... So this is going to explode until damage, do a small amount of damage to us. So I think we heal a little bit and then we blow it up. And we have a little bit of shield. Purity, so I can actually play that safely. I don't think I'm going to take the shocks away. We probably don't need it, but better safe than sorry. Uh, this unfortunately kills, so we won't get chance to kind of heal. And then, yeah, 100 focus seems good. We definitely don't need more mana though, but upgrade a card. More card draw? More card draw seems good. I think we draw more cards. And then, yeah, we'll kill you. Let's play this before we have to worry about accidentally removing a shock we might want later. We can freeze you blow you up for a good amount of damage. We don't want to play that. So we do unfortunately get cursed, which is going to put a bit of a clock on us. Because we weren't able to draw this last turn. Fortunately, we did draw it this turn, which means we won't get cursed. Um, we get dodge this curse, which is important. And there's our other copy, which means that we won't get we won't get cursed this turn either. Um, I don't think I played that because I want to risk getting frozen when we only have um, metal planet anyway. Okay, so this turn, if we get the kill, we can prevent ourselves from getting doom. Which, you know, nice bonus. I think 
we will draw the card. Okay, we don't get a bonus out of that this turn. I played them in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter because we're over our max mana anyway. Frost Barrier continues to just be an absolute delightful surprise every time it goes off. And we get two 20 damage explosions. Singularity? Singularity. Okay. Um, none of this. I'm fine with re-rolling, I think. Duplatome seems good. I think Duplatome seems better than the Warbot. I think we want to upgrade... I think we're probably going to get the Siphon Lightning. It's been a little underwhelming. We have absolutely taken Singularity. I don't need to note as much. We're going to upgrade probably one of our shock cards because we want to apply a bit more shock a bit more consistently. And yeah, the Siphon Lightning is just kind of awkward, so it can go. And we're just going to go for some events. And yeah, that seems good. And that seems better than... Hmm. Tough choice. Uh, this saves us... I, I wish I had checked if we were fighting Bay later or not. Because that's really important to whether or not the Shifting Feather is more valuable than the uh, Shocking Core. Uh, I think I would rather have Shock on demand rather than... Okay, so it's Holoma, so I should have replaced the uh, Evasion Feather because it's just not that good against Holoma. The Smites are going to be pretty good against Holoma, though. So that's something. So I think we want to... Just figuring out how to sequence this. So obviously we're doing that. Which then turns that on. And the question is just, do we blood visions? So we do this, which is going to let us hit the front enemy. I think we do. The question is, I suppose, do we smite first? I think we don't. I think we just do that. And then, can we play this if we copy it? It's 22 mana. We can, but I don't know that I want to spend. Wait, let's just get this just dead. That may be worth it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You die. And then we evade both these incoming hits. Perfect. take another blazing ritual because I don't want the siphon lightning that's pretty useful I it may be more useful than that this is going to be very useful though over the shifting feather against this specific boss uh, we'll fight them off I was hoping we wouldn't actually get the fight but we did okay now that's not cheating to use I do like shocking one of them so that we can set up Lightning Communion. Right. So that it freeze we're kind of okay with. Unfortunately, we are now cursed. So I think we copy these two. Bomb. See what we draw. You're shocked, so this will do more damage. Absolutely. Get those. Play this. Which is going to turn that on. I think we just do that into 
Oh, right, our spells will apply for us. I keep forgetting. What's left in the deck? Three mana cards. Pretty bad chances that we get enough mana to justify it. So the question is just do we do this or do we do that? I think we. Well, but if we get the Voltaic Frost, we're pretty happy, I think. Oh, that is not the card I meant to play. F. But we got the Voltaic Frost anyway. But it does mean the next turn is going to be pretty awkward. Opportunity detonation. Getting tough is nice. I think we may have already been tough. Right. Um, yeah, we're taking some damage here. Yeah, if, if I hadn't misclicked on the whatever instead of the um, on drawing the spells instead of drawing the just playing the treasure. Better position here. Uh, we do want to freeze because that lets us guarantee this kill. Uh, take a little bit of damage. We still have plenty of rests though. We've only got one event between us and the boss. And now blood is I think. After we do that, yeah. Yeah. Now we've worked. Um, hmm, I guess we take Lightning Strike. See if it does anything for us. And Lightning Strike won't actually get drawn by whatever. Uh, can't have energy. Uh, none of this matters. Remove a card. Is there anything we need to cut? I think the Drain Life is kind of our worst spell. I think more max mana is fine. I think Temporary Path is nice. Yeah. Because we're starting with tough, I'm okay with removing that, that other thing. This is going to do more for us than this will. Oh, this is just not going to do enough, I think. Basically, all it's doing for us is enabling a Predator's Focus, I think. And, yeah, plus 20% spell damage is absolutely great. Um. Hmm. The... Do we cut one of the Blazing Rituals? Yeah, because they, they burn through our... our and we kind of want to keep that for this fight. Alright. Um, seeing this in our opening hand is very nice. This is a this is kind of the best opening hand we could hope for. And I kind of just want to copy this smite, but I don't really want to burn uh, whatever this early... I think we're going to do this into that, and then I could have gotten out a Singularity, but getting Purity set up is just incredibly helpful in this fight. And the reason I'm not playing Blood Visions yet is that I want to avoid um, setting myself in that position that I, I've set myself in a few times before. Although that's a pretty bad hand for next turn, so I think I'm fine with doing it now. I can get mana and play a Singularity. That seems pretty okay. That actually gets us to free. Explode. Explode. 
it again. Uh, let's, let's get a bunch of mana for next turn, which I think is worth it. First, because we just saw purity for that. thanks to that shock. And we do still have a shock in reserve for this. I'm probably going to save it for whenever we need it for um, Lightning Communion. Whenever we find ourselves in a position where we can't otherwise trip Lightning Communion. Okay, we're definitely playing this because I can afford to copy Singularity. And we're going to copy Singularity and... Uh, smite, because I think just setting up a bunch of purity seems pretty good. I'm going to do this first. Okay, so yeah, I can't afford to do this. Into that. Into that. Into that. Into that. Into just going to damage, but... I burn no question is whether I, I wanted to burn a um, curse on whatever but I wasn't sure exactly it would work out so that can happen this can happen this can happen and even though this sets up curse on us yeah kind of what I was hoping to see nailed it all right. And um, yeah, so that was the Singularity run. That went very, very well. So we've now done, in effect, a route and run with each of the three statuses, although uh, the the Arcane and the Frost runs were both kind of weird because the Frost run was a Frostbite run and the um, Arcane run was an Occult Ritual run. The other thing that you can sort of see from this uh, run is that I kind of deliberately had a little bit of all of the elements because that just ends... Because the nice thing about how the status scaling works is that if you have, like, one card that trips Frost, um, it can trip Frost somewhat reliably. Um, and if you have, like, one card that trips Arcane, uh, you know, we only had the Arcane Visions, so we were able to trip Arcane pretty reliably. Uh, so, yeah, I, I would say that that worked out pretty well. I was happy with that run. I'll see you all in the next one. Just make sure again that I have the screenshot. Bye.